Hello everybody, this is me, Dee Dee, with Haunted Curiosities and Infidora again. And this show I am so excited about. I mean, really excited about it. It's so interesting. We're gonna talk about the Chronovisor, mm -hmm. Christ Descendants, Demons in Human Flesh, mm -hmm. um, and what else? There were, there were some other things. The Black Archives. The Black Archives, that's it, the Black Archives. So, welcome Nymphadora. Hello. I am so excited for you today. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Okay, so let's get right to it. Okay, so the Chronovisor is a machine that can see past events and future events, and I actually have one. So, the one that I have, I actually got from Edgar Allan Poe. Um, he had given it to me um, when, you know, he started getting ill, and then, you know, how he got it was from Gustav Diore. They were actually pretty close. Um, Gustav had actually did the illustrations for Edgar Allan Poe's book, The Raven. So they were pretty close. And Diore had actually got a chronovisor himself and he had made a duplicate for Edgar Allan Poe. So there was two of them at one point. Now these look like pocket watches. Yes, yes. They're not very big at all. Yeah, a lot of people think that they have to be like, oh, time travel and things like that, you know, have to be big and it's not even close. Yeah. Because this doesn't just see the future and the past. It, you can actually time travel you with can. it. Yes, yes. That's incredible. Yeah. So it opens up like a, a, a portal, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it's really, really cool to, I mean, I've, I've used it a couple times myself. It's really, really cool to use. Um, but yeah, I've seen other people use it. It's, it's really cool to see. So you've owned it out. I have, I have. Only because I know that the people that, need, there was a couple people that just wanted it for fun and I'm like, eh, well, whatever. And then there was other people that needed it for some, some reason. So. But you're now getting a duplicate. Yes. And I'm getting one of the originals. Yes. I know. That's why I'm so excited. I can't wait to show it to you guys. I it's know. it's really um It's really pretty. I have seen it. And I am I'm I am blown away. Like you've seen my bishop's ring mm -hmm. and you know how one of a kind that is. Yes. And this is like right up there with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and it's it has totally so amazing. Many famous people having their hands on it because um, it was originally, the original one was created by... Now, that's the one I got, right? Yeah. I know, I know. It's DD special. Yes. So, that one was actually created by Michelangelo. And then there was um, people in between, you know, um, Diore having it, Michelangelo having it, that had tweaked it a little bit. Um, one of them was a father. Um, they called him Father uh, Ure. And, uh, oh, and, um, yes. or, or, I can't... Uh, <laughs> What is it? How do you it's say so it? Ernetti. 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 Yeah, I always think of a hair net. Yes. Ernetti. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah Ironhide. Yeah, Father Ironhide there. No. Yep. Uh, yep. Ernetti. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yep. He had tweaked it a little bit himself, so um, it's really, really cool. I like now, it it's my understanding that um, um, Poe and Jure, they, they actually time traveled together, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they used, that's kind of like a weekend, like a bros thing, I guess you can say. Like Now, when Diore died, though, he, he, he did die physically here yeah. when they said he did, and um, Poe did as well. Mm -hmm. Well, no, Poe didn't die right away. They thought he did. Yeah, there was a misconception, but he, but, he later did die. Yeah, he later did die, but, but through his time travel, he's actually still alive, but just not... In his dimension or something? Right. Like it's, it's he he's come pretty far into the future, so he's here, but he's not here. So his body here is gone. Yes. But yet his body in the future still looks the same. Oh yeah. yeah. How does that happen? Like that's just so I think I it, would think if your body died here, your body will also die there though. It's because a lot of it is because he was, Scientific advancement, maybe? I, it could be that, or um, a lot of times when he had come to the future, it was he was in his normal body. So, so it stayed. Mm -hmm. It stayed, and it will stay until it catches up with him. Yeah. And that leads me to asking you, we call it the, the Hidden Vatican Archives, but that's not what it is. No. No, it's actually called the Black Archives because there's so much in there that's secret and hidden. And dark. And, yeah, and dark, yeah. Um, Tell me about the dark stuff. So, 
I'm not sure how many people know about this, but it has been rumored that, you know, Catholic priests and stuff do things to little kids, and um, there is proof that the popes have actually sexually molested kids. Well, yeah, there is definitely proof of that. There's tons of proof, and the proof is hidden in there. They have so it's been going on forever, forever. Forever, forever. But this is yeah. pornography. They have pornography, yeah. And so you have, you know... That stuff's nothing new, though. Get me to the, get me to the meat okay. of the archives. Get me to those things that walk around as humans. Okay. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Yeah, these things are, are really crazy to, to know about. Um, one of them is demons. So there is something in there that will actually call demons to you. Um, you have to use the flesh of a living demon. That's to what I want to hear about. Tell me what the hell is the flesh of a living demon? So there are demons walking around normal in human flesh. As they, in possession? No, 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 no. They're not possessed. This is it's their, their own body. Skin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, they're, they're, I mean, I'm pretty sure some of you have even met them. They're sociopaths that, you know. So like, what you're saying is we call them sociopaths right. today. And they act like that because they're actually really they're demons. They're really demons walking around, yes. So, I mean, you've probably encountered a demon and not even realize how powerful and extreme it is. Yes. So, how do you take the living flesh of a demon to create a new demon? Is it just like touching them? Is it getting a piece of their hair? It's definitely, you have to have some form of DNA. Oh, okay. Se. So it's like a fingernail, piece of hair, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So in the black archives, what they're hiding from us is the formula for doing that. Exactly. Exactly. Like I said, it is deep secret stuff in there. Is it a hard thing to duplicate? No. You That's just, why it's so well hidden because it's so easy to do. I gotcha. It's so, and the, so the a kid you, could do it. Right. And then if you you um, call this demon, they are forced to do whatever you want them to do. So you have full power over full them. Full power, yes. So the whole thing with the Bible of the demons are smarter than us and they can control us is true. To a point, yes. But not in this sense. Right, right. So if you create your own... But now, how do you create your own if you're not God? Is it just because of this secret magic? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. A simple, easy to follow formula yes. that a child can do. Exactly. Why yeah. it's kept hidden. Exactly. If I mean, imagine if that was actually out in the public, like looking it up on the internet or something. It would be insane. So tell me now about... There's good in this. Yeah, the what counteracts this? So there are angels or J Jesus disciples or um, descendants, descendants. Yes, that are living and walking around in human flesh as well. And that's also in the Black yes. Archives. Yes, and this is good because, you know, you hear about in the Bible the battles that go on. We need to have the good for the evil. So does the Vatican know every single descendant of Jesus? Yes, yes. And do they keep tabs on oh, them? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I said. And how do they do there. that? And, and, and what do they do with them? Do they follow them? Do they study them? Do um, they... It's a little bit of studying them. Um, they do follow them from time to time, but it's not very often because they Ooh, have... Wow, I, I, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd imagine they would follow them frequently just to see if they had any kind of supernatural power. <laughs> I think they've like done their research, but once they kind of know what's going on, they kind of go and find somebody else and kind of back off of those because there's a couple there's a bunch of them out there so they they kind of hop around they don't like would you like, say like there's stalking. over a thousand? Oh yeah yeah oh really oh yeah so there it's not like you can say okay my neighbor is a demon and i need to watch him and you stalk him or something like that there's tons of them out there so you watch this one for a little bit then you go and watch another one for a little bit and kind of looking for triggers i guess you can say that's that's incredible. Now there's other things in the black archives as well. Mm -hmm. um, you were telling me they they've known about aliens forever. Yes. Forever. Yes. And they have taken pictures from the ancient underground mm -hmm. Masonic lodge of the Masonic members mm -hmm. that are etched into the caves in the underground, and they can step out and become flesh. Oh yeah. That is some crazy-ass magic shit, it I'm is. telling you. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, they have 
so much information on aliens it's unreal like i said before like um that area is like a portal for the other world but what about these masonic male images though that they step out of stone they're just images drawings that step out of stone and become flesh yeah and this does not surprise you at all <laughs> No. Because you've been seeing this, what, like your whole, years. Your, for, for years, years forever. And years and years, yes. Yeah. Have you ever met a descendant of Jesus? Oh, I've met quite a few, yeah. Um, can, I mean, I've met Jesus himself, so, yeah. Can, can you recognize them? I can, yeah, because I'm one of them. You are one of them. I am one of them. How about, is there anybody else you know? I do. I don't know if she wants me to put her secret out there. Go ahead. I'm allowed? Yeah. Okay. Dee Dee is actually. Oh, I didn't allowed. know that. <laughs> I didn't know. You didn't ever tell me that. <laughs> I'm wondering. Yeah, go ahead. Tell the girl's secret. Yeah. Yeah, Dee Dee is actually one. I've, I've kept it from her for quite a while, um, but that's why. Damn. I, have, I, uh. We have such a connection. Um, Dee Dee's always wondered. Like, we. It's like we. Well, I have seen. Um, actually I have to end this and we will come right back. This is so fascinating. <laughs>